Hey guys, how's it going? Dutchman Games here. Today we are in Unreal Engine 5 and we're going to make a Oblivion style medieval world. I figured after the Oblivion Remasters out and I've been playing it a lot, I figured why not make something that's kind of like it. So, especially because Oblivion Remastered was made in Unreal Engine 5, makes this even more fitting. Um, anyway, let's get right ahead. I'll show you guys what you need. Uh, right now all right so what you need to do is you need to go to landscape create a landscape make sure it's landscape m i underscore landscape underscore master so you can actually go here and then you need to create it now this is actually a little tricky because this is a procedural landscape which means we need to add procedural uh, systems here so what we need to do is first of all we go to paint and then we click on create layers from assigned materials and now we get all these materials but they all don't work because we need something to generate it virtual textures oh. so runtime virtual texture volume and this one has to be called so the first streaming texture has to be called rvt landscape svt and then the virtual texture has to be the one where it's not height so the normal one and then you need to select it onto the landscape all right so put it under the landscape here maybe even put it in the folder landscape and then now what you need to do is you need to create another one this one is for the height so you need to select the the ones with the height value and also put this under landscape there we go and now we have our basic landscape and now what we can do is we can go to the landscape mode and we can basically work with all these different materials all right really quickly if you're getting these uh, kind of like smudges when you try to raise the terrain what you have to have turned on is virtual ren uh, texture render with quad in the landscape also something uh, for people who are not getting it fixed what you need to do in project settings is you need to have virtual texting on texturing on so if you go to virtual texture it says here enable virtual text support and all that stuff that has to be on so just in just in case if you can't get it to, to work maybe try this maybe that'll work all right, so what I like to do now is I like to build hills all around the uh, map. So this is just going to be done really quickly and it's going to look very basic, but we just want some basic hills around the map. Uh, the, the reason why is because uh, you don't want to look into the abyss from the interior of the map and because we're only making a small uh, map we can maybe make some hills in the distance and that just makes everything look a lot better when we're actually in the map itself so and uh, you know, on the front can be very basic hills and then in the distance they can be a little bit taller hills so we're gonna make this look better uh, in due time for sure but for now just quick hills Go to the paint tool and you can kind of like uh, add ground over it um, make it look a little bit different maybe just add force ground for now and we can always work with that later all right so now that we have this basic setup I want to add some mountains in the distance and I have this great uh, asset pack that has these awesome looking static mesh uh, mountains so we can actually add that in and put it behind everything else and uh, it's kind of tricky because they do look uh, you know they are a specific shape but what we can do is we can put it behind here make it really big so all you need to do is when you stand here and you look in the distance 
need to be able to see these mountain ranges because it fills out the map and that's basically all we're doing so with this what you're getting is just a nice surrounding of mountain ranges Here's we're going to go to the landscape tool and we're going to erosion and then make the tool strength kind of the same but the brush size must be a little smaller so tool strength 50 around 50 and then you just kind of want to kind of want to beat some uh, natural formations in this essentially all right so now i did this but now it looks kind of like uh mud like you know like because if it's dripping down so what you can do is you can take the smooth and then for some of these like very crazy shapes you can smooth it out like that and then just keep the shapes on the top of the hill essentially most of the shapes should be on the top of the hill and with shapes i mean like the curves and the edges and all that stuff I like to kind of mix and match the ground a little bit it makes it feel a little bit more realistic so let's set the brush size smaller and tool strength to 19 and just kind of go around it like this and eventually what will happen is you'll see breakthroughs there you go So now we can add some stony ground as a path. Here we go, these are the ones we need. So we've got spruce. All right, so let's see what they look like. Let's just place down the spruce and there we go. Very nice looking realistic uh, spruce. So what we need is we need to kind of like cover the sides with these, right? So um, what we're going to do is we're going to grab these spruces and then also these smaller ones. And then we're all going to drop these into the foliage. And then we need to change a few things. Oh. So there's a little button that will make sure that the offset placement is uh, a line uh, let's see I think it has to be on a line to normal I think this is good no this is not good because I need to make sure there we go that's what we need otherwise they will look crooked which is weird uh, and then also the density has to be way lower so we'll make it one make it half kind of play with this there we go and then for some of these trees we're also going to um, make them disappear the further we are away from them so we're gonna do that later so just kind of like on the on the hillsides place all these trees and you can even make your brush bigger to do this so let's see uh, where is the brush here it is so you can just place all these trees on the side maybe not on the top here that's kind of weird but kind of like try to place them a little bit uh, realistic there we go and then also of course down here and then we can actually add up the density to one because this is for the well, technically kind of like playable forest that you would be able to play in you know so these can be a little bit thicker and if you have a slow pc or your pc is not up like made for this kind of stuff you'll start uh, noticing serious lags uh, at this point so we'll fix that later um, yeah, so again, 
do 0 0.3 or something and then do the distance also a little bit. Okay, cool. All right, so, and then also maybe just a few random trees here and there. It's always nice. There we go. So now, like that. All right, so now we're going to grab a few of these trees. Uh, we're gonna say this one and this one and that one. And then we're going to the uh, coal distance and we're gonna say the minimum is 5,000. And this will already remove a lot of trees, but that's way too uh, short of a distance. So let's make it 15,000. And what this does is it, it, will, it will spawn in the trees gradually as you get closer. You know, so the farther away from everything, the less trees you'll see. And that'll be way better for performance. If, if you, for example, maybe you have a pretty bad computer. In that case, I would just say, set it to 5,000 or something. You know, or 10,000. In this case, it will look kind of bad because this one <laughs> is everywhere. So this one we're just set to zero. You can also uh, remove the cast shadow. That will also help in it a lot. So for some of these trees, you can just remove the cast uh, shadow. And that will also help. But I'm not going to do that. Um, you guys can, if you want to. So now that we have this set up, what we need to do now is we need to work a little bit with the fog. So we have all this uh, exponential height fog and everything is already set. So, but we need to change it a little bit. So in this case, I want thicker fog. Not that thick. Not like that either. I'm saying 0 0.3 or something. 0 0.2. 0 0.1. 0 0.2. Yeah. And then we can also kind of change the color of the fog. I want it a little bit yellowish, orangey. And now again, you know, this is the closed fog. So you can set the closed fog to 0 0.2 and the far away fog to 0 0.05. Closed fog 0 0.1, kind of play with this. Like that. Now this already looks pretty good, if I say so myself. Um, now, we just need to add a lot of details here and uh, and the town and all that stuff and all the assets already. However, we are going to do that in the next episode. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this episode uh, of this Oblivion style um, medieval town slash castle scene. And I really hope you guys learned something. Please do leave a like and subscribe if you guys did. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Cheers.